Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be reviewing my five star predictions from last year and we will also be doing this year's ones so this is gonna be interesting i don't own physical copies of all the books um but also to save rather than getting them all down i would just up, put images up there because i don't know about you guys i don't feel like the up and down on the bed do you know what i mean to get to my shelf because all my shelving is around my bed so i'm just gonna put some images up so yeah I found my trusty dusty little bit of paper from last year that I had them on. Smart me put this on my safe. So we didn't lose it. So yeah. Let's get started, shall we? Um so the first one we had was It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. Now this is the second book to It Ends With Us. Now I loved It Ends With Us. It Ends With Us was a five star read for me. But this one was a four and a half. It let us down a bit, you know. It let us down a bit. There was bits about it that just wasn't. It weren't the vibe. Do you know what I mean? It didn't live up to the standard of. It it ends with us. So, yeah, it starts with us. Unfortunately, it was a four point five. I'll keep a tally of like if I got it right or not, kind of thing, or like they were or not. Do you know what I mean? So I'll keep a little tally going for you guys um the next one was things we hide from the light now this was the second book to things we never got over and this was indeed a five star this was five star that, 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 i love this series i adore the knockman series like it's hands down one of my favorites like it is sat over there on that shelf like literally right next to my bed like this shelving is pretty much full of all my favorite books so yeah I could not, I just, I don't even know how to, what to say to you guys about this book. I just loved it so much. Just, yeah, that's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to say. Um, next, I had the All Souls trilogy. So this was the three books. I've only read two of the books so far. I haven't managed to get around to the third book. Um, there is a fourth one as well, but that's also a little bit later down the line, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but the first two books were four stars not again not quite five stars i've loved them they're really good they're intriguing but they are just very long very long yeah very long but love them they're really really good um and they are a lot more detailed than the uh tv show so that's really nice to see and it's nice to see what's not been added into the show that was originally in the book so yeah it's all right four stars are still good um so next we have every summer after by kylie fortune i believe um 3.75 now it's still a good rating that's still a really good rating it just <laughs> how do i put this into words that book it just was not my vibe it just not my vibe just yeah i i'm not picking up the rest of the books i'll be honest it's not happening and from what i've heard um i was watching a youtube video the other day i can't remember whose it was um they were talking about it and it seems like is it meet me at the lake i think it's the second one is it meet me at the lake kind of has one of the same tropes within it so kind of feels like it's going along the same route and it's like no no, if you're gonna write another book in a series, at least change it up a little bit, do you know what I mean? Give it a bit of a freshness. Change it up, you know? Yeah, yeah you, you guys get my vibe. You guys get my vibe. Um, next was the Atlas Paradox, which is again another 3.75. Don't get me wrong, I really, really do love these books. But this one was just I took a little bit longer for me to get into. It was just a little bit harder for me to vibe with. Um, because Olivia Blake, Blake's writing is very academic in, in her writing. It is th very factual, very scientific. Like it is written amazingly. 
but it has got all that so it does kind of like drag a little bit and this one just felt a little bit more heavier to read than what the other ones did in kind of that sense um like i said i still love it just enjoy it 3.75 is still a really good rating it's not that doesn't say that i didn't like it i did i just yeah it was just a little bit more heavier for me on that one um archer's voice i didn't manage to get around to reading unfortunately Heartstop of Volume Viva did not get around to reading. <laughs> to be fair, it did come out late, um, early December, but I had issues with getting mine delivered, so mine didn't arrive until like late December. So, on that part, not my fault. <laughs> um, In the Dreams, I hold a knife. I have not got around to reading. Babel have not got around to reading. Uh, better than the movies, I did get around to reading, and I gave it a two point five. No, just no. No, I did not like this book. Just no. I, I, I was listening to the audio as well. Just no. It just felt so childish. And I know it's YA and all that shit. But it just felt so childish. I couldn't even tell you the main characters' names. But the female she was very childish in my eyes as, as a character as a character was very childish just moving on um house Chris lake i did not get around to reading a touch of darkness i did not get around to reading <laughs> i did not get around to a few of these books you know um carrie so is back i did read by taylor jenkins reads i give that a 4.5 it was close. It was so close. I did love it and I did love the tennis aspect of it because it is kind of tennis focused, but it's not like crazy tennis focused that like you wouldn't want to read the book. Um you do want to read the book. Um it, the tennis doesn't put it off. It's not overly tennis. Um what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like the writing it's not all fact it's got facts in it but it's not heavy on the facts and it's not um heavy on that way like there is the plot to it there is the story to it and all of that so don't know if i explained that right or very well should i say but i'm sure you guys get the gist of what i'm trying to say um so yeah that's that we have the light ring light on as you guys can probably tell from in my glasses by the way it is shit, literally shit weather, um, and the light, it's like in and out of darkness, like you can tell when it gets a bit brighter outside, so yeah, excuse all the constant light changes and shit, um, where did we get to, we got down to that, right, next up, oh we got the last two, so then we have What's Upon a Broken Heart, guys, five stars, the entire series is five stars, I literally have the books here, I have three copies of the last book, do I need said three copies? No. But did I want three copies? Yes. All three have hidden covers and all three have different ones. So, so yeah. I loved Once Upon a Broken Art. The characters, the story, the plot. Just so perfect. There is something right about Stephanie Garber's writing that is just, I think, so beautifully written. It's so whimsical. It's just so easy to read. Like, you literally feel fly through her books because you don't realize the time because you just kind of get immersed so well into the world and you just go you don't even realize that you just keep reading and reading and reading so there is something about Stephanie Garber's writing which is just so beautiful and I can't wait for new work from her because I am desperate for new work from her we are desperate desperate times guys desperate times um and then the last one is the wall of winnipeg and me which was a five star rating it was it was i love mariana Zapata and her slow burn and her sport romances they are just so beautiful i love them the angst the tension it all just builds so well in those books um, and the Wall of Winnipeg and me, especially, like, the plot was well done. The gradual build was really, really nicely done. It is, 
a lot of people have not liked this book because of how long it takes and how long it goes um guys it was beautiful it was beautiful it was perfect it's the perfect slow burn um i know a lot of gut people don't like aiden um because you know he is rude at the start he is a little bit on the mean side but you know you can't help but love him eventually he redeems himself he's he's a nice guy he is i'm telling you he is i'm making it sound like he really he still isn't he is he He does redeem himself but yeah so what can i say i loved him so we didn't do too bad we 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 got three and then however many we didn't and how many we didn't read forget forget 2023 guys 2023 is in the past quite literally forget 2023 um we're gonna move on to our 2024 five star predictions now i am carrying over uh three of the books from last year which is heartstopper volume five because i didn't obviously i had the delivery issues so i couldn't get it so we allow that one archer's voice because i do really generally really really desperately want to read that book um and then also house across the lake by riley sager those are the three we're going to carry over um because yeah we we didn't get the chance to read them we're gonna get that we're gonna get there this year hold me to it hold me to it now first up is probably my most anticipated read for this year i generally do not think there is any other book i am more excited for to read and that is where's molly by hd carlton now as you guys know I fucking love HD Carlton. She is hands down my one of my most favourite dark romance authors there is. She is the queen of dark romance. Fucking love her. I've read all her work, so I'm desperate for Where's Molly to come out so I can read it. I'm dying for it. Um yeah, I just this is like a spin-off from the Cat and Mouse Duet we are going to follow a character that we don't actually really meet in hunting adeline we don't really meet her but we do hear of her in a way so i'm really really intrigued to see what her story is going to be i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm sorry i'm sorry i need to get control of myself I'm just, yeah, I've already pre-ordered the Kindle edition. I could have waited until it comes out on the 16th of February and got it on KU. But no, 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 no. I didn't want that faffing on the 16th of February. We were not faffing. I have pre-ordered the Kindle edition. So there you go, straight to my Kindle on the 16th of February. And we can read it. That is what we're doing. That is what's happening. So you guys will not be seeing me on the 16th of February. That is where I shall be. Just letting you know um next up we have in the lives of uh no we don't yeah we do in the lives of puppets by tj clune i can't speak in the lives of puppets by tj clune um this book came out last year i really wanted to get to it but i didn't manage to so i really want to get to it this year and i love tj clune okay hang on let me sort my eye out oh so I love TJ Clune. I love The House in the Crudy and the Sea. I love Under the Whispering Door. I need to read the next book because I just guarantee I'm going to love it because it seems like very up my street and I'm sure he will just do it yet again. I just, I have no words. Um, but, but while we're talking about TJ Clune, I've got another one on here, which is Somewhere Beyond the Sea, which actually is going to be like, I think a sequel like a follow-on from the house in the crudy and sea which i'm really really excited for okay that is like i'm so excited for that one as well so we have two tj clean books on here i'm excited to see what's going to happen i think the somewhere beyond the sea is out in september i will put it on the screen but i'm sure it's like september time so yeah i'm really really excited and eager to read that one um, we then have House of Flame and Shadows by Sarah J. Mass. That is out at the end of this month, guys. Third book in the Crescent City series. I am... I'm ready. 
I am ready to see what's going to happen. If you guys have read Sarah J Mass books and have read the last Crescent City book, which is House of Sky and Breath, you will know the ending. I need to know what happens. Okay, we need to know and figure out what the hell fucking happens, okay? Because we got left on a bit of a hanger there. So I'm intrigued. I'm very, very intrigued. So yeah, that is also on the list. Um, I also have a funny story by Emily Henry. No, I love Emily, Emily Henry. I love her writing. I love her books. Happy Place will always have a part of my heart that I will just never get back. I will just never get back. And some sanity as well. With it. It's my sanity too. Um, so yeah. I love her books and love writing. I'm really, really happy for, excited, shall I say, for this one to come out. Um, and don't let the title fool you because this is Emily Henry and it will probably shatter your heart. I mean, happy place shattered my heart. So funny story. I think it's not going to be so funny. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be so funny. So yeah, as much as I'm excited and happy to read it, I don't know if I'm going to be emotionally stable afterwards only time she'll tell i think it's out in april only time she'll tell we shall see um and the last one is the reappearance of rachel price by holly jackson now holly jackson i adore as well i adore like all these authors that i've meant pretty much mentioned because i've pretty much read most of their works um but yeah I adore Holly Jackson. I love her books. I can't wait for the Good Girls Guide to Mind a TV search so show to come out. I can't speak. I can't speak. And I'm trying to film this video quickly because I'm due to be going out. So yeah. Um I love her. I can't wait for the show. I love the books. I will be doing a reread when the show comes out. I'll probably do a little a little we'll probably do a little vloggy vlog for that one, guys. We'll see you do a little vloggy vlog. Um but yeah. I am so excited for this one. I think it's gonna be interesting. She does mystery so well. Um, her twists and her turns and her plots just—you don't expect some of the stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, there are little bits that you do see coming. Um, but there are other bits you don't. You don't, and they change things, and they change your perspective on life. <laughs> yeah. Five Survives is a good one for that, guys. Five Survives is a good one for that. I thought I solved that mystery. I thought I had it. But no. <laughs> she put a plot twist in there and I was shook. I did not and I did not see that coming. So yeah. Highly recommend picking up Holly Jackson if you don't already. And I'm super excited for the uh reappearance of Richard Price. I have already pre-ordered it. And I think I have pre-ordered it a special edition. I'm not sure. I can tell you, however, I have pre-ordered the other two special editions coming out of the Good Girls Guide to Murder series, so that it matchy matches with my one that I have already on my shelf. Yes, yes, I have done that indeed. No judgment, okay? This is a no judge zone. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know if there's any books you're excited for, and if there's any books that you think you may think are five stars this year. Do let me know if there's any on my list that you're like oh you're excited for now you didn't realize it was coming out or you did and now i don't know if you think they're gonna be five stars as well let me know i don't know what i'm saying i'm half asleep i'm sick still and i'm gonna need to leave the house so i'm gonna end it there and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video um which is i don't know what it is i think it's my reading stats for last year i don't know We'll soon find out. But yeah, I will see you guys next year. Next year. Whoa. I'm jumping 2024 already. Clearly I'm already done with the year. If we're only on the second day. Fuck yeah, no. No, I won't see you guys next year. I mean, I will see you guys next year at some point, but not right now. Right now, I'll see you in the next video and on another day yeah okay that was interesting um but yeah don't forget to keep smiling be kind keep reading bye guys wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up
Today's gonna be a good